Hey everyone, it's Matt Carroll. I'm back again today and I wanted to share with all of you an experience I had a few months ago skiing at a resort here in Japan called Lotte Arai in the Niigata Prefecture. I'm going to tell you all about it, so let's go check it out. So to get there, I took the Hokuriku Shinkansen from Tokyo Station to Joetsu Myoko. It took about two hours and cost me roughly 9,500 yen or about $68. Depending on the time of the year, it may be very busy. And so I recommend that you reserve your seat on the Shinkansen. Otherwise, you might be standing like these people were for several hours. Okay, I've just arrived at Joetsu Nyoko Station and I'm gonna go look for the bus. It's, it's so much colder here than it is in Tokyo. It feels wonderful. The bus to the resort will pick you up on the left here. The bus is completely free, but you must reserve a seat on their website to get a guaranteed seat. This is quite important during the season peak because many people, including those not staying at the hotel, will also be riding the bus. I'm walking across the snow-covered courtyard here to the area where they do the rentals. This is the gear shop, and they have this interesting keep white mascot. Here's where the rentals are done, and they have everything you could want. Lockers can be found in the changing room and cost 500 yen. There are lockers for hotel guests, but you must check in to use them. I'd like to point out that this particular resort uses a sort of key card system. You would come up and scan the key card along these gates. They would open and allow you access to the lift. Okay, so now I'm gonna go up this lift because the other lift is actually closed unless you go down an advance course. I'm not an advanced skier, so I have to take this one up, I guess ski down an intermediate one, and then I can ride back down. So just be careful if you come here, the lifts may not be operating toward the end of the season. Keep in mind, the majority of runs here are beginner level, so expect to see many beginners here. If you are a beginner, know that there are many easy runs to practice on. That being said, there are plenty of advanced runs all over the mountain for those looking for a challenge. Okay, so I just rode the gondola to Rokongi Station to get up to Zendana, I think it is, the next one, where they have a cafe. You just stay on board and keep riding on up. I took the gondola from Village Station at the lodge and kept riding past Nopongi Station all the way up to Zendana Station, where the cafe is located. Let me go over the trails here. There are 6.7 kilometers or 4 miles of beginner level runs, 5.7 kilometers or 3.5 miles of intermediate level runs, 3.3 kilometers or 2 miles of advanced level runs, and they also offer several off pist areas for advanced skiers and snowboarders. If you return your lift ticket at the end of the day, you can claim special discounts on a curry lunch, admission to the hot springs, and an eye sticker. Once you get off the gondola, you can see their Sky Restaurant Zen. Yeah. 
I had the hamburger and fried shrimp at the Sky Restaurant Zen, which cost 1,700 yen or $12.20. I thought it was good and it came with one piece of broccoli. I reserved a double room that faces the parking lot. The rates vary depending on the package and season, roughly costing 30 to 60,000 yen or 215 to 430 dollars. This room costs close to 50,000 yen or 360 dollars, including one lift ticket and two meals. There are several dining options at the resort, but I chose the plate, which features a Western and Japanese style buffet. They had many tasty options, plenty of drink choices, and I particularly enjoyed the dumplings and steak. They also had donuts, which made me very happy. Keep in mind that reservations are required for dinner and can fill up quickly. So I'm staying in Arai, which is where they have their pool and their onsen, but they also have another uh, building there called the lodge and then even behind that they have one called the nest I have no idea what's in there <laughs> In the main lodge, they have a fire pit, and you can ask an employee to light a fire for you. Breakfast was fantastic and enjoyable, but reservations are not required in the morning and is first come, first serve. This is the resort's gift shop and is worth checking out. They have a variety of local treats and souvenirs, including cookies, stickers, and my personal favorite, this bag of coffee beans, which was very good. Just as quickly as I arrived, it's time to go. On the way back to the station, I was surprised how quickly the land changes from a winter wonderland to bare dirt. Today is so warm. I'm going to the nearby coffee shop get some coffee before I get on the train. But man, I'm in my <laughs> in my short sleeve shirt. It's like a summer's day here in March up in Niigata. It's kind of crazy. Because apparently the snow this year wasn't very much. It's been unusually warm. Despite the warm ski season, I had a great time and I highly recommend you check out Lotte Arai for your next ski trip. Mm -hmm.